If you have not met your target at the end of the season, you will be fired. No pressure. Mayday. <laughs> We've got a problem. <laughs>right everybody hello and welcome back to another episode on motorsport manager with me spacefish and welcome back to uh the final screen on our guild ford grand prix race from last episode now i have to say honestly this race was one of the more disappointing ones of the season in the very end uh the hopes weren't all too high to begin with given that our only real halfway good driver was heavily injured and uh, had like a lot a lot of stat drawbacks coming into the race and with that also our better car was kind of jeopardized but uh, we were still kind of hoping that we'd at least be able to do something in the very end as you can see absolute chaos struck it didn't go well for us at all i mean literally first corner hong already messed up and from there it really didn't go any better so that is just kind of what it is i guess a race to forget um for today though we are gonna try and leave that all behind we're gonna go into the admin work again we're gonna continue improving the cars getting all the reliability up maybe also already moving on to the second car in order to improve the parts there more and give Andre a bit more fighting chance too um then we're kind of going to go from there and already probably going to go and get ourselves into the training for the next Grand Prix so let's go and leave this thing here behind for us evidently no no scrutineering and uh, no rules are broken anywhere here uh, a few people actually got some penalties but they're like way above us in terms of uh placing in the race so no no effect for us there unfortunately no sponsorship objective literally next to no point the gap uh, points rather the gap here increasing quite considerably too and we can still not even hold on to the eighth i, I really kind of want to get into this region right like th this is kind of the region that i'm hoping we can kind of squeeze ourselves into and then there's a lot of teams here that are very closely together and if we would just have the chance to be a bit more consistent with our results now i think we could easily kind of make it on to like eighth or seventh spot and given that these other teams are that close with a bit of luck we could just also boost ourselves up even to fifth spot if we have some very good ones in between but unfortunately it's not going quite well for us and and hong's condition as far as i remember is going to stay like that i want to see oh i was going to say uh, i see space was racing at the top or i love to see it is what i read initially there uh, but yeah so as far as i kind of have in mind i think hong is going to have his injury going on for him for another race at the very least i'm not even sure if it may be too so I am still quite pessimistic even for the next one, to be honest. I mean, you can see just how low his driver form is generally. Um, you know, he's at least hopefully got some improvements going in for him. Adaptability being quite close even to a level 7, which is beautiful. And, you know, there's a lot of things he's improving on, but with fitness at 1, that's kind of like a very, very heavy hit right there to a stat that I think he was um, rather good at on average. So... That's not great, and on top of that, the effect that this injury has on his form, of course, is not great either. So, um, of course, you know, team uh, team boss not not happy at all. Um, I think I was minus twelve right there. Marketability even went down, which is even worse for us. Ah, <sighs> it's really all not going great right now, is it? But let's go and look at this. Um, first things first. I think that the first thing that we're literally going to clarify is how long this injury is going to last. Five more weeks. That is absolutely terrible. Uh, I mean, if we look at the calendar, um, yeah, I mean, 24 days for it starts. So, Tundela, we're still going to have that injury going on for us. Milan should be gone. So, the last three races is kind of where we got to kind of try and somehow extract everything for ourselves. Bit of a bummer that we can't use Milan for ourselves either. I, I'm, I'm kind of I'm very worried that we'll drop off even further in terms of points. Um, get in well, struggle to get yet another sponsorship objective like that. It's really not great. We're going to reject the interview here. It's not going to be great for us at all, given the performance. Well, in, in total, um, what do we say? There is good news, though. The test track seems to be done. Look at this. That is beautiful, isn't it? 
I think that's quite cool. We've, we've got a test track on our own factory right now. There's even a car driving around it. Uh, so that should be quite cool. I mean, it's going to offer us, um, hopefully, a good bit of, uh, well improvement for the drivers and in, in terms of how, how quickly they improve but what is also going to offer us now is the ability to go and develop a new engine now it's quite late in the season and i'm really not that much of a fan of spending another 1.5 million bucks for another engine but the thing is that in the next season we will more or less leave off with the stats, well also depending on how much we invested in car development in the end, but we'll more or less leave off with the stats of the current parts, just kind of trimmed down a bit in terms of like reliability and performance and all, and that is where we develop up from. So if we now manage to get an even better engine in there for the um, stronger car and move our current best engine to the other car, that means that in the end, in the new season, we will hopefully start from a bit better of a spot with, uh, well, in terms of engine um, quality, engine performance. So, I would really like for this gun to improve a bit quicker, too, I, I really have to say, but um, it is what it is. A contract remaining, four months only for him. Um, so, you know, maybe we will consider somebody else when it comes to that. I mean, the lead designer is quite important in the very end, just given that he, in the end, also kind of has a very significant effect in how good the parts designed are, I guess. So, we'll see right there if we want to continue with him, if we want to go for something new. Kind of also depends, I guess, on how much money we will have left over in four months. Um, for the time being... Let's go for top speed plus 20. We're not going to go for the risk level. We are going to go, well, for top speed plus 30, of course. Um, don't need 25, uh, like, or plus 40 to max for a build time of plus 5 days. Let's go and choose that one. I am confused, though. Oh, right. Aha. <laughs> we can fill three slots, but, of course, um, we can now go for a um, great modification. I accidentally have that one still clicked. So, um, 72 max is quite cool, admittedly. But a risk level of one, I don't feel like I'm willing to risk it. Weight stripping would be a performance gain times two. I'm not quite sure what performance gain times two implies, though. What does a performance gain times two imply? Like, do I just want top speed a bit more, or do I want the weight stripping? I am not quite sure. Let me maybe, maybe Google that real quick. I'll be right back with you. All right, and back we are. So, um, to my understanding, the part with the performance gain is, um, well, so if you do weight stripping, you gain twice the performance that you would usually gain. The thing is, we don't have a clue even what weight stripping is yet, as we don't have it currently. Apparently, it's a kind of a thing that you have to vote on with the with the other bosses. So, maybe in the future may become relevant currently it's not really a bonus for us um basically what it seems to imply is that you can remove a bit of a parts reliability in and in turn gain some extra performance so very interesting option of course currently not relevant um this one i think is quite interesting actually for future seasons um uh, apparently it's something that our designer has to offer for us and if we did something like this, it feels like... Okay, but I'm not sure, like, what... Ah, I see. So we could do something like, um... This. And then... Well, the thing is... If we had another fourth slot, I guess... I'm not sure when it starts making sense. No, it does start making sense here, I guess, because what you could do is remove, like, make this slot a great slot instead, which is cool, which is quite nice. But in this case, I mean, we do have to... Wait, let's get rid of that. We do have to pick some sort of green, um, which is going to be our top seed plus 20. 
We're going to do the build time plus 5 days, top speed 40 to max. I think that's quite fitting. This one I don't really want to risk. Wet ties and inters is kind of like a... I mean, it's interesting, but it, on the other hand side, I would like to get something a little more consistent. And then we have top speed plus 30, which in my mind is quite the consistent one with quite the decent uh, amount here, honestly. So we'll go for that. Let's go and build that part. It's going to be a lot of money spent. And well, at least we get a bit of a discount based on our financial background, but still... It's going to be painful. It's going to take 22 days, so it's not going to be ready for the next race. It's going to be ready for the three last races. So, literally, as I said, that's going to be the time where we really, really have to try and shine somehow and get something out of all these parts developments and, and hopefully just kind of bump our position in the championship up in the last few races somehow and uh, get a bit more money that way. So, I guess that's kind of our hope and our plan right there. Um, that is going... On top of that, we will hopefully, of course, start a bit better in the next into the next season in terms of, sort of like our base engine numbers. We'll see just what effect that has. At least I am willing to go and check it out and risk it somewhat for the time being. Now, in terms of pit crew, uh, you can see a lot of people here actually are very, very, very tired currently. So we need to go and actually swap some of these out. Um, this person here is not really yet fully recovered. This person is. So I guess that's going to be the one that we're swapping in for. Then again, on the other hand side, honestly. Oh, wait, no. This guy has got some totally different stats that are relevant. The issue with that being... I don't really have someone for that job. I'll be able to take this. I mean, you've got this person here, right? That's 60 and 75. Uh, well, that, that's for this job here. 60 of 75 is better than 52 of 77, I guess. So that person can relax instead. Um, and we've got here 31 out of 71. Ouch. Um, I guess this person here, but like also not all too relaxed. And then well, we've got some front jack and some rear jack person. I feel like we may require somebody else that can do tires and refuel. So let's check out what's there, maybe, for tires and refuel. It's nothing. There's absolutely nobody that's really a good combination in terms of that. Some good rear jacks, some good front jacks, but for that combination, nope. Okay, well, that is what it is. I will have to work with that stamina. I hope that that's going to go well for us. Let's go and uh, kind of boost forwards to, well, not boost, but uh, spool forwards to when we have the uh, car repaired. And then we can kind of take a look at what we want to improve and which way. So, I mean, Hong's car is still, of course, taking priority for the time being. Um, we're definitely never, ever going to work on that engine because, of course, as I said, there's another one coming. And this engine will probably go into the second car when that other engine is ready. We do have the gearbox reliability currently being taken care of, which makes a lot of sense in my mind. Suspension is already done. The brakes are not quite done yet, so I think we'll get them onto the list too to kind of maximize their reliability as well. And then Hong's car is pretty much maxed out. There's nothing else to take care of. I mean, yeah, rear wing, front wing, but th those have never even been critically broken or anything. I mean, honestly, it's fine. I think we don't have to worry about that too much. Uh, so when that is done, I guess the next things that we're going to take care of is Andre's performance uh, numbers for everything but the engine, which is, of course, very beautifully already maxed, uh, especially for what's uh, relevant for Tindela, which I guess means that we're going to max out his gearbox first, and then we're kind of going to do all the other stuff on the list afterwards cool for me. Let's go and move on. There's going to be a policy for 35 lap races being voted on. Longer races, around 35 laps on an average track, which place more of an emphasis on overall team quality as well as on race strategy. Yeah, I mean, honestly, given how many laps we are currently making on one set of tyres, which is like seven. <laughs> I feel like uh, the game is actually quite right here that will uh, here that will not benefit me. Uh, so we'll b use both our votes, I think, and we'll vote against. 
uh, quite strongly against that currently. The races are already honestly also quite long as is. And in the end, you know, it's a bit critical. Oh god! Uh, okay, that was spooky for, for a second when they had more votes there. But looks like we're fine. Um, good thing that we were voted against, otherwise it would have been kind of uh, on a tipping point. But um, there we go. That's rejected. Done. Taken care of. Moving on. Uh, Car-wise, let's go and kind of have a look at this. Uh, 20 days before the race. So another two days, basically. New parts. What is this? I want you to build me brakes for the next race. Um. No. We're not spending more money for you. Thanks, bye. Factory staff idle. Beautiful. So, uh, we can go and now improve the parts of Andre, which we will start out doing the gearbox, which is going to be done 13 days before the race. Basically, when we get, like, very close to this thing being done, I'm just going to add, like, brakes and suspension to this as well. And then they can just kind of get as far as they can, move on like that. Cheers, Becky. Alright, so here's when the performance work would be done. We'll just kind of cue the rest right here. We are at 128 out of 132. I think that's quite fine. So, brakes... Uh, wait, no, actually... Oh. Right. Maybe we will only add the... Oh. <laughs> so, we have better parts that are not yet usable, is what you're saying. It's good to know. It's very good to know. I kind of lost that out of sight to be honest um, yeah we're gonna get the reliability up on those so I guess we can put them into Andre's car I'm just gonna remove this it's gonna be done 14 days after the race maybe we can at least get them up to a reliability standpoint where you can already put them into the car at the very least if it's like 75 ish percent I think we would be good to go if not then we'll kind of take a different stance uh scouting wise it seems that we actually have a slot open which i haven't seen before it's not really all too tragic i think in the very end but still good to go and just add some drivers to this because why in the world not not quite sure what's this oh right i guess there's a race happening today isn't there we will go and continue um, the thing is, there's about 60% missing on these. Yeah, I think we could should be able to get those parts to 75%, to be honest. It's about, like, 60% missing on them. We're, like, halfway in the middle of getting this stuff done. The engine design is going to be finished soon here, though. Which kind of means that in the end, I also would like to go and improve that one. We are... At a good engine, of course. It doesn't have the great status because we didn't go for that as you can see there's another 31 performance potential in that which is going to be nice and as i said hopefully going to help us start off the season on a bit of a better note it's going to be a bit of a reliability job though to actually get that up to snuff and then we do need the performance to kind of be at least at the same level of th as the other engine too so We'll have to see. I really hope that we can get it ready for the next race for the time being. I think we'll just keep these parts in here and hope that we can get that done. We've got eight males, which is insane. Uh, we're currently in ninth place. This is currently worse than the target of eighth. If you have not met your target at the end of the season, you will be fired. No pressure. Mayday. <laughs> We've got a problem. <laughs> I didn't know that could happen to me on my own team. Help? What do we do? We really got to get this one out of the park. Oh boy. That is not great. That is really not great. I am, um... <laughs> I am quite unhappy with that one, not gonna lie. Oh boy, what do we do? What do we do? We need to get up into 8th spot in the championship, which means we have to close a gap of like 40 points. Which, really, I mean, it's like absolutely terrible and the worst timing ever that Hong's got to have a dodgy neck like that. Like, we kind of need every race that we can get to get the through with this one, and I'm not sure. Oh, God. This will be terrible. This will be absolutely terrible. 
Now, um, that is the travel to the race. Uh, we are at 70% reliability. Honestly, for like 8 points in this one, and 6 points in this one... Well, I mean, the I think we can fit the suspension, to be honest, because it's not really better than... Well, it's not really worse than Andre's current suspension in terms of... Uh, performance. Fit parts. We will go and... Which one? This one's Andre, right? So you will get this suspension now. Well, in terms of the brake, it's brakes, it's... I think I'd rather have... Well, honestly, I mean, the, the suspension is on 70% as well. How brake heavy is this thing going to be? It doesn't tell us. I'm going to go and already put that in there and hope that it doesn't break, I guess. It's fine. This is fine. Cue gif of dog sitting in fire here. Okay, so this is going to be quite a tough one. I um, Every race from now on will count like crazy for us, because in the end we don't want to be fired from our own team. <laughs> I, I suspect we are in the standings quite, quite far back. It's actually only 20 points, not 40, as I thought. 26 points. So... We gotta see. Dragon Race Team China's in front of us. We gotta keep finishing like right around the 10th spot marker. So, God. We'll do um, our lowest sponsor, as per usual, of course, Parts of Fitted. Let's go to the race and uh, take a quick set of practices. I am honestly really worried now. <laughs> I don't wanna lose my team. We've worked quite hard on this. Uh, good to know that you can be fired if you don't meet the objective. Um, sh we should take that into account for the next time that we tell him what we think we can achieve. As to not uh, be too risky in terms of these choices, because evidently we kind of had our hopes a bit too high. I, I really thought that we could do it, especially with the proper development of a new car, but evidently we're quite on the fence about it now. Let's go and get the drivers into the car, though. Um, Hong's form is at least a tad bit higher, so we'll see. In terms of the setup, uh, we will go and give them, I think, a bit higher downforce, because there's a lot of faster sweeping curves. Well, I, I think it's sort of... A little bit more downforce, but not too crazy much. Now, it seems like the track is a bit focused around acceleration. And in terms of... I'm, I'm really not sure where to put the suspension, to be honest. Uh, we will do things sort of like this for now. Kind of just see what the feedback from the drivers is going to be. So, half a degree for Hong as well. On both wings. Then we have got a bit harder suspension, a tad bit less in terms of gear ratios for the acceleration. Tire choice is going to be soft. Let's go from there, and we will hope that that is somewhat going to work out for them. So, send them out. Um, well, I think in terms of stints and all, it's quite fine. Same thing for Hong. There they go, going to max out their modes. And out they go on the track. So for the out lap, I think we're just going to skip. And we're going to do our proper timed laps at the very end, as per usual. Uh, Hong's actually a 6.2. Better than the last one. He literally went all the way down to zero. So, you know. We'll see how he does in the race in the end, honestly. I, I, that's the one that I'm kind of worried about. Um, Gomez already said stiffen up the handling. So that's an interesting uh, revelation there, definitely. More downforce. Okay, so more aero, more, well, stiffer suspension. And um, same feedback for Gomez. So there we go. That's the first idea. Um, aero seems to be quite poor, in fact. So we'll give it an entire degree more already on uh, both wings. We will stiffen up the suspension to, like, 81% maybe. Speed balance is only good, so we'll give it a tad bit more in terms, of uh, in terms of acceleration. And we'll see just how well that one's going to do. New set of softs, and send him back out. Same thing for Hong. One degree more in terms of the angles. 
we will give him 80% for the suspension stiffness. And a little shorter of a gear ratio. Cool. New soft tires. Send them out. Let's go. They're going to have to have their cars worked on for a quick second. And then we will go. Get them both out on max strategies again. Have them do Laparoo. Off the circuit as per usual. Yes, I know. And, uh, well. Seem to be happy with the arrow for a start. We're going to bring them in. See if they say something else that's going to be interesting. Cannot spot anything. And in they go. Okay. Um, Handling poor. That's great. Didn't they want... Stiffer suspension. I am very confused. It's, uh, okay, so whatever they kind of said in the text was apparently wrong, I guess. I'm, I'm very confused about this. Uh, maybe we're going to do it a bit softer then. I'm quite sure that he said he wanted it stiffer, didn't he? Well, we're going to go this way with the handling. I guess the speed bounds will kind of have to account for a tad bit here and... I'll kind of fix it to exactly that spot with the tire pressure. Now, downforce is good. It's not great, which is interesting. We're going to try and give it half of a degree more. Why not in the end? We can kind of see where that one goes, I guess. And we'll go and fix that a bit more. So, for the stints, we're going to give them a bit more fuel now because they're going to do long stint for the end and we'll kind of just adjust the last bits and bobs of the setup based on the knowledge that we've gained during the race. Let's see how Hong feels about the... Okay, wow. He wants even more downforce as well, I, see, I guess. Um, we're going to do that. For the handling, we're going to go the other way as well. So 50% then in terms of the suspension stiffness. Speed balance-wise... He seems to like it more, he's not entirely happy yet, so we're going to make it a tad bit shorter of a gear, well actually, I mean it's already kind of a bit more acceleration bias just based on our sus uh, suspension and downforce setup, so let's try like that I guess, for stints, long set, new softs, send out, okay cool. So, that's going to be worked on for a quick second. I guess, guess Hong is somehow faster because we made more changes to Andre's setup with, like, the tire camber and all. It is what it is. Um, and there they go. Cool. So, outlap, we don't care. They're not going to give us any response uh, in terms of how they think the car is or something. So, they can just keep going. And then they start their actual proper timed lap. I'm really interested to see how that one's going to turn out. Hong is in a really high form currently. I hope that that kind of populates through to the race in the very end. Uh, tweaks of the downforce are great. Handling, I think, was positive feedback. I didn't quite see, to be honest. Well, he's got like half a second, uh, well, 1.3 seconds in the first, but he's fifth in terms of overall placement, which, given his fitness, I'm not too sad about. Um, Gomez is evidently doing better by a lot. But Hong is also improving now, so we'll see. What is important here is that we get the race knowledge already going, which is also going to work out for us. And then we go from there. So Hong is going to manage another lap. Andre seems to pretty much be done for the day. It's fine. And Hong's ties are already quite done anyway, so I think we can just kind of go and zoom through that one. Okay, so that's that's the end of the training session. Very interesting. I mean, at least Hong's form is a little better. You can see that he's still quite off in terms of performance. He's like half a second behind Andre, despite having the significantly better car, and in theory, the better skills when he's not lacking all his fitness. We'll have to see how that kind of populates through to the race then. I hope that he can somehow at least keep some form going. And maybe even if we don't hit the sponsorship objective, maybe we can at least still try to be like 12th, 13th, 14th more than like 18th and 19th. You know, we need to just try and get more points at this point than Dragon Race Team China or uh, whoever else is in that group from like 5th to 8th spot so that we can hopefully, hopefully somehow achieve that result and not get fired from our own team. That would be an absolute nightmare. 
So we'll see about that and all, uh, and a lot more in the next race. Hopefully it's going to go well. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Please wish me luck. And um, until then, I'm going to end it off right here. So I hope you all enjoyed the episode as usual. If you did, Please make sure to hit that like button right down below. That does always help out the channel a ton. And if you're new around here and haven't done so just yet, also please consider subscribing right down below, as well as smashing that bell icon in order to stay up to date on all future upcoming episodes. But with all that out of the way then, as usual everybody, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I will catch you in the next one very, very soon. Ciao.